Welcome everybody to this presentation today that is going to go through how you use actionable cross-platform audience insights to support advertising sales. Hi everybody. I thought we have to do it a little bit differently since everybody's just talking and talking. And we are a do-it-yourself platform, so we would like to give the control to the people. So today it's going to be a little bit different how this presentation is going to be. But first of all, who's getting really, really tired and who needs an energy boost? You do. You see? Perfect. You should have seen the girl on the bull yesterday. She had a few of these and she was great. I think we all agree about the value in audience insights. In this presentation, I will go through a time and cost efficient way of measuring advertising reach and effects. So uh, first question though, uh, how many actually have readership panels that they do own ad testing on? I know I have one client here, a uh, Norwegian one. Not so many others. That's fair enough. My name is Jukki Nurminen. I'm global head of sales towards media companies and related partners so at Synth. Sure. Yeah. Synth is a global technology company. So have you heard about Synth? We're developing software for the research and media yeah. industry. All Synth products connect to the online platform Opinion Hub hosting 19 million respondents worldwide as it links buyers, suppliers, and resellers of research samples. Synth was founded in 1999 and is based in Stockholm, Sweden. Here on the map, you can see our reach. So everything in orange is actually where we do have online panels today. And you can also see that we do have offices a little bit here and there. So you told me that you never heard about Synth. So you heard about readership panels at least? Sure. Sure. That's good. <laughs> this presentation will give an overview of how one of our large publisher partners measures the impact of its campaigns while sorting out which arts of the campaign contribute with which share of total results and what impact the campaign as such has had on the advertiser's recognition and image. NTM is one of the oldest newspapers in the world and it is actually the oldest newspaper in Sweden that is still in business. And as you can also see though, it's actually one of the 10 oldest newspapers in the world. Not even I actually knew about this part. Synoptikum International is a Lithuanian company. They have a EFM system and a really good reporting tool. And they are working with us uh, in helping out our publisher clients and other clients with both research and the reporting part. So Synth and Synoptical International has together developed this concept after a request from NTM. NTM has of course been involved uh, with continuous input and feedback uh, so that this way of actually testing uh, multi-channel is going to be done in the best way possible for us. So since I know that I'm standing here with a publisher, are you doing ad testing today? No, no we're not. Not at all? Not at all. So no. this the only test is, is uh, whether or not somebody actually clicks on it. <laughs> clicks on it, okay. <laughs> How does it work? What is the technical setup? What pieces is it actually we need to be able to do this? So in the background, we have the Synth Engage, where the readership panel is located and handled. In Synth Engage, you have access to the profiling and background. You can also see how the recruitment is going. You can also change the text, invitations and so on. And everything is, of course, branded exactly the way you want to. So, you know, ad testing uh, is built up with templates and an advanced reporting tool in the background. The client can choose to just to get the done PowerPoint report that is sent to you by email right after the survey is done. Or you can also log into the reporting tool and filter on various options. 
today, if never, it's different. even more important to actually find an efficient way to be able to actually present in a time and cost efficient way results even to your advertisers. So Synthens and Opticum has come up with one solution for NTM to actually be able to deliver a campaign report in less than 10 minutes work and for a minimal cost. So even if you told me I wasn't supposed to ask you anything, I have to, you know, I sat down now. So what do you think about the time, how long it takes? You think about 10 minutes too long? No? no? You can manage that? That's good. <laughs> NTM has built the panels uh, with Synth, and Synth is handling all the management of the panel. And parts of that is, for example, incentives. We count points to each panelist. We do have payout options. Uh, the panelists can log into their portal where they can also fill up uh, background data and they can also ask for payout. Uh, what kind of uh, options we have for payout depends on what market we are on. So for example in Sweden we do use uh, PayPal, uh, gift cards and you can also donate to charity. NTM has built a own local panel for each of its brand to keep the communication with the local readers. And since, since the Synth system makes it very simple to launch new panels with very little work, it's been a very easy way of NTM to actually launch more panels, and they have today around 10 different uh, panels. And as you maybe understand... The part that oh, cool. NTM don't need to do is, is to recruit the panelist. Uh, one really good way of doing this is a pop-up. So NTM actually used Synopticum International uh, with, with the help for this and they made a pop-up survey. It was a few questions about Eurovision that was going on right then. And in this way, they got the engagement of the people that were interested in it and just asked to, re to register for the panel in the end. One question that you're probably asking now is, what does the panel mean? So one way of defining that is, is readers who have actively agreed to participate in answering surveys from the partner. What is happening is when you're registering, it's an actively choice that you make. You will get a welcome letter where you have to activate your account. So that means that they're double opted in and they're validated and they really want to do this. And as you maybe understand already now, we like to have everything automated. We don't like to do anything ourselves. So that means actually that our system when you create the panel, we don't have to do anything. Everything is created uh, automatically. The only thing is that we do a checkup of it, that everything looks good. But usually we actually let the publisher do it to be sure that they're happy with how everything looks. Here you can see uh, two options on how a recruitment pop-up can look. The first example on to the left is an example from VG that is uh, one of the biggest newspapers from Norway. And on the right one, you see one of NTM's brands. So they're actually just saying, the ones who doesn't understand Swedish, you know, say, get, give your opinion, be rewarded, help us to become even better. And the good thing about it is how easy it is actually to register. So you see actually down here, it's our iframe. So that's the only thing the respondent has to do. And then, of course, everything goes totally automatically into our database, and they become a panelist. In the Synoptical Mat Testing tool, uh, you have a quick order um, option. And in this one, multimedia test is one template available for the clients. And in this template, we have predefined questions, but also the possibility to add own extra questions. The predefined questions have benchmark data, and any extra ones you have will, of course, not have this. You can also launch two ad tests at the same time by combining these through the quick order page. The reason for doing this is that, well, if you don't have you know, too much of panelists, for example, it is still better to make two ads right away because you still are getting the re respondents and you can actually get two reports for your advertisers. 
You can of course create as many templates as you want. So if you wanna reuse it, you can just add something and you know, you can just use it again whenever you want. And I have to be a little bit quicker now since my time is running out. So here is just a showing of actually how it looks when you set up the ad test. Setting up the ad test is very easy. You just go into the quick order, you choose the name of it, you have the description, so the message, the type, content, you put in the information about the advertiser, name of the campaign, name of the advertisement, The client has a pre-set up template for the PowerPoint report that they will automatically get sent to them uh, after the survey is done. And they can easily present this right away to the client. So the question is then what do you actually get from this? So I'm coming to the final, don't worry. <laughs> so what is the value for the publisher? The good is that you can quantify how much each media has contributed to the total campaign effect. So key metrics measured is share of reach and total here, combined for the campaign, increased intention to buy take action, frequency, improved image of advertiser, and other things. The good thing is that since you have the anonymous benchmark data, you can compare your results and act to similar campaigns and other companies to see actually how well has this campaign worked to similar ones, which is gonna give you the facts. The value of being able to provide your advertisers with the return on investment analysis and how the campaign has increased the general image of the advertiser is few of the key points that you can uh, get through this test. In summary, the key to the future is to measure improved results. And it doesn't have to be expensive or time consuming. If you have the right tools, you can spend very little time and not too much of a cost to validate the effects of a campaign. This is only one option that we have presented here, but we do think that you should measure and prove the results and stop guessing if you're not already doing this today. And I'm actually done, to be honest. And I liked it here, actually. Thank you. <laughs> I'm trying to get a lead here, so. Um, right. Yeah. All right, Kitos, Kitos, come. Let's walk and talk. Let's walk and talk. Uh, I'm going to follow your, your lead here, so keep the microphone on. So um, you've obviously, I'm sure, very qualified with the tool that you've got. Come, come walk with me. That's, that's what you're doing. I'll do the same. Let's go find <laughs> so, somebody. Um, so you're obviously very qualified with the tool and everything else, but uh, let's talk about uh, the actual uh, measuring of this data, making sense of it all. Because obviously all these tools are very good at gathering information, but, uh, but what, what really matters from all the data that advertisers are looking at at the moment? Because it seems that this industry is moving away from just telling advertisers, I have unique viewers, I have page views. What do advertisers want from publishers today that you are trying to measure? I mean, they want the real numbers. I mean, we can always do the clicks and everything. Here you actually get the real people, what the effect has been, and you get the real results of it. And this is the multi-channel part of it. So that means that actually, of course, for NTM, for example here, they have really shown that their advertisers need to be on all of their channels because the reach is gonna be a lot better. Right, and within all that, within the effectiveness of the campaign, there's a, a great deal of talk about time spent <laughs> on the actual campaign. Uh, when you measure it, is this one of the questions that you're trying to put in all your panels? How much time, or is, is that something you, you know automatically? You do it automatically if you want to, because you do it more on the cookie base. Uh, that's how you do it, that you see it, but you can also have the in-screen view on it. But that's a little bit of an add-on that you have to have from a little bit different tools also. So usually actually it's ask the question more about it to actually ask them, but then in the background you actually get the facts also. So you do it both ways to be sure that actually it's correct. Right. Now you said finally that uh, your system uh, very much uh, measures um, the, how the image of an advertiser has improved. That's a fairly uh, you know, qualitative analysis. 
uh, how do you do that? Just by asking the person many different questions? Or how, how do you do semantics? How do you do something that is not quantifiable with a fact or a figure? No, but exactly. But I mean, this is built in from the start with the templates and how it's actually put up and the questions. And this is where the benchmark part also comes in because we can also compare to the peers, you know, who's been doing it, you know, to show that it actually, actually had the effect. And I mean, it's a template. I mean, it's, how to say, of course, there's been some analysis behind to put out the real questions, what's actually supposed to be asked to get, you know, the correct answer, or how to say. Right. Right. Anybody wants to come in? Uh, any questions for Yoka? We'll leave it there. Or energy boost. Kitos, tak tak. Tak tak. Thank you.